Reznov, bring your men! What is here that is so important? General Dragovich wishes to make a name for himself. He believes this outpost houses something of great value to the motherland. Dragovich and Steiner are talking like old friends. I do not like this, Reznov. No, I do. Must hurry! There are mm. Germans who would sooner see you destroyed than captured. You assured me there would be no problems. I cannot control the actions of the SS, General Dragovich. They are sworn to defend the Reich till their last breath. Noble, but futile. Dravchenko, finish up here. Reznov, you and your men will lead the way. Yes, sir! Petrenko! Vikarev! Nevsky! Volo! We are moving out! Steiner, tell me more about your association with the Gift Eager Stern Project. In 43, the Fuhrer realized the Allies could not be held back for much longer. We begin to look for more unconventional solutions. Throughout the war, my own research was focused on chemical weapons. It was meticulous and frustrating work. However, what we finally developed was a weapon more effective than we had ever dared to imagine. The weapon now housed within this vessel. However affected the Onorvo 6 chemical may be, you still had to find a way to unleash it. Long-range V-2 rockets to be launched from this outpost. The targets were command and control centers. Washington, D.C. was our first target. Then Moscow. Hmm. Ambitious and commendable. But we were too late. The British were upon us and their bombers crippled the ship. Locked in the ice, we tried to salvage what we could, but it was too late. Germany had surrendered and a Russian flag flew over Berlin. The SS had orders to destroy the ship if we were attacked. Clearly, they failed. The explosives were never activated. This is it. Reznov, open the door. We had found what we were looking for. Mother 6. The German weapon of mass disruption now belonged to Mother Russia. Or so it seemed. Our victory was to be short-lived. Dragovich wanted to see the effects of the poison firsthand. It was also an opportunity to remove a thorn in his side. I had long known of their distrust. What kind of men they were. It was a betrayal. I should have foreseen. The new country. Was a hero. He deserves the hero's death. Instead of giving his life for the glory of the motherland, he died for nothing. Like an animal. He should have died in Berlin. As I watched my closest friend die, it became clear we were not the only ones seeking the German weapons. <laughs>